Brady, we have a light switch tree place. Here in the country I was born in, we use a 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. Black is live, white is neutral, the bare of the green is the brown. Red and blue are also live colors, so however you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220, 240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. So I'll show you how to replace a damaged light switch. You can see the, cap, the gap across the top there, how that's broken, and the sides are broken off going around it. So we'll take our cover off. And our switch is all loose on the box too. Wow, you're going to be interested in seeing how they grounded this light switch. Okay, we'll unscrew it from the box here. It's not screwed in here very tight. See how they put the wire just through that rivet there? That is not how to ground a light switch. And the wires are in the hole in the back, which I don't like. Here we go. So now we'll hook it up the right way. Here in the country I was born in, we use uh, screw terminals. So we'll make our loop the direction our screw turns. Put it under our screw head like that. I'm gonna make it a little bigger here. Close our loop, the direction our screw turns like that. Here we go. And we might need to strip our white one just a little bit longer. Not a lot, just a smidgen. Make our nice loop to go around our screw the direction our screw turns here. Close up the direction our screw turns. And if the switch does not have a green screw on it, there is a uh, a threaded hole in the back of the box and put your ground wire on that green screw and I'll show you that hole. There's the uh, threaded hole to put the green screw to put your ground wire. Okay, now we'll uh, put our ground wire on the green screw on the switch. We do have a green screw on this switch. And the wire is too short to go to the green screw and come back up. But we'll just put it on the switch. So when we screw the switch into the box, we'll ground the box because see how the, this yoke is fastened to the green screw there, so we'll ground the box. 
We'll put it around the screw the directioner. Screw turns like that. screw the way I want it. Here we go. We got our copper under the screw head all the way around. Okay, now we can put our, keep our ground wire on this side. And we'll put our wires in so that they don't split open on anything here. It's not going to hit any of the wires. Our ground is back away from everything. Got to make sure it's not too long. It's not going to hit the wires. Yeah, but I'm going to still shorten that up just a little bit. I'll use my screw cutter. Stick that cover back on. And I lost my other screw, so I'm not going to frustrate and, not, and carry on. I'll just cut the other short screw here. You never frustrate over losing stuff. You just go without. You don't get frustrated. It doesn't pay at all. All right. 